Hello guys, this is Sido. Welcome to Katia tutorialcad.com and I'm gonna be continuing uh, what we have left on the last video. Okay, this is uh, this is where we left last time, and now we're gonna create uh, edge fillet. Basically, we're gonna make those edges a little bit smoother uh, than what it is. So we're just gonna I just clicked on the so we just we have to select each all the four edges at once the reason is because since once we change the dimension like to 10 all these four elements will change at once and that's uh, good for the real design because when you're changing your dimension it's much easier just change it one time instead of changing once I mean one by one so see how how it looks uh, the edge is a little bit smoother and nice and cool okay um, <clears throat> so that's how it looks uh, okay now let's make more edge fillets on this face now we select that and that so the whole face so we're just selecting edges and we're gonna give this time 40 millimeter and we leave it tangency uh, but by the way I will talk about more detail each option in there on the training uh, so forgive me for now let me just move on so that's how it looks like on the face you see the edge where it is so smoothly and Alright, so let's do more edge. This is an edge fillet again. Let's make this face almost similar to the one we just did before. Okay, and we just change the radius on that. So now that's how. So we did the face back and forth and uh, the sides, we did that. Okay, so and if you notice the tree on your left, each thing we do it goes there so now uh, let's make a sketch in this area so we're gonna go to this so you, you could select actually the axis system or you could select the shape it the face of the shape itself then it will take you directly to the sketcher workbench so now now we are inside the sketcher workbench what does it mean basically is this is where we make our sketch this is your sheet you make your 2d drawing and uh, whatever you think that you want to make 3d out of it so now let's make this sketch okay so normally you start with dimensioning so if you know your exact dimension that's what um, normally I mean each design has dimensions and a specification okay so so okay let me so you can just make an escape so let me just put the dimension maybe much that, that will give me a uh, easy time uh, then I, I can just double click on those dimension and once I double click on it it will give me the exact and the first time you just put any sketch there but I mean don't worry about how long is it then you can, once you put those constraints then you can put the values of the number how big how long or whatever you want it then it will adjust it automatically for you and we'll talk about that also later okay so I'm just putting my dimensions that I think is good <coughs> so now see this is so all this are so now this by the way this because this will make it you know perpendicular to your uh, if you if you see it's kind of uh, weird shape just by clicking there it will make it perpendicular and clean sheet basically we'll talk about that later also um, <coughs> okay now let's finish this thing oh man this is kind of hard to do it there is more than one way you can do this curve but let me try it again once you're used to it it's gonna be easier 
you move forward then you make like a curve you know okay hmm not good enough let me try it one more time okay all right let me try this time I should get it then make that make a curve on your hand you know like you make in a circle all right okay okay all right uh, hmm. okay I promise you this time we'll get it right I promise let me get it straight now oh yep this is what I was looking for all right okay so now you go to the end and don't worry about how many how long is the radius is as I said you can dimension that easily let me just make this tangent to the line tangency now it's straight line okay let me make the radius now well well let me just do this dimension here make sure that's good here okay okay this okay now let me do the radius okay the radius uh, let me okay so now let me do uh, so let me do this okay we almost done all right so now all my dimension is done so I will just have to get up take I mean get out from my sketcher now I am inside the sketcher right well, let me just do this and then once I finish this I get out from the sketcher oops I got an error well, let me fix it I'll show you all that stuff but I believe by just watching you'll learn you'll get the idea so now I'm gonna this is how my sketches looks like I'm gonna get out from the, this workbench and go to my and I will show you next how it looks like and what we do with this sketch okay see you next part of the video